In the quiet of an early morning, Emily, a struggling single mother, places her toddler son, Jack, in a makeshift basket. As the world slept, Emily was awake, wrestling with the weight of a decision that would change three lives forever. The hardships of single motherhood had taken their toll, the sleepless nights, the endless worries, the mounting bills. They were shackles she could no longer bear. In her desperation, she thought of Tom, Jack's father, a man whose memory lived only in the echoes of their past love, a man who didn't know he was a father. With a heavy heart, she penned a note explaining as best as she could her plight and her hopes for Jack's future with his father. And then, with the first light of dawn, she made her move. With the rising sun, she left a piece of her heart left behind with her son. Tom, unaware of his parenthood, finds a child at his door. In utter shock, he holds the note left by Emily in one hand and his newfound son in the other. The letter, filled with Emily's desperation, leaves him with more questions than answers. He looks at Jack, a tiny mirror of himself, lost in this new world without his mother. Tom, a man who prized his solitude and simplicity, was suddenly thrust into the chaotic world of fatherhood. His home, once a sanctuary of silence, now echoed with the cries of a child yearning for his mother. He tried to soothe Jack, but the connection seemed elusive, strained by his own confusion and Jack's distress. He reached for his phone, dialing Emily's number over and over, but was met with the cold tone of a disconnected line. As the night fell, Tom felt the weight of his new responsibility a role he never anticipated and a, a future he couldn't yet comprehend. Two days later, Emily, filled with guilt and regret, returns to Tom's house. Her heart pounded in her chest like a drum as she walked up the familiar path. Fear gnawed at her insides, but hope, that small persistent flame, kept her moving. The house was unnervingly quiet, not a sound to be heard, not even the faintest echo of a child's laughter. This silence amplified her apprehension each tick of the clock echoing in her ears like a death knell. Yet she was determined to face the consequences of her impulsive act. She had to see her son, had to know he was okay. She had to face Tom and beg for his forgiveness, beg for a chance to be a mother again. She stood on the doorstep, her heart in her throat, her hand trembling as she reached for the door. With a deep breath, she knocked on the door, bracing herself for the worst. Tom opens the door, his face pale and tired, leading Emily into the living room. A scene of unexpected warmth and joy greets her. There, in the middle of the room, is little Jack, giggling as he plays with a woman who radiates love and kindness. This woman, as it turns out, is Tom's mother, who had rushed over to help the moment she learned of her grandson's existence. The change in Tom is palpable. The shock and confusion have given way to a newfound sense of responsibility and purpose. He's no longer the man who had stood bewildered at the sight of a child on his doorstep. He's a father now, understanding the weight of his role and embracing it. Tom reveals to Emily how the past two days have changed him. He's seen the joy in Jack's eyes when he laughs, felt the tug at his heart when Jack reaches out for him. He's felt a love he never knew existed, a love for his son. He's decided he wants to share this love with Emily to give Jack the family he deserves. Emily, expecting the worst, finds herself in the midst of an unexpected twist. Tom is extending an olive branch, inviting her to be part of their son's life. He's seen her regret, her despair, and instead of turning her away, he's asking her to join them. He's offering her a chance at redemption, a chance to be a mother to Jack once again. As they stand there, the three of them in that warm, loving room, they realize they're on the cusp of a new beginning. They see a future filled with understanding and forgiveness, a future where they navigate the trials of parenthood together. A new chapter is starting, one where they're not just individuals with their separate lives, but a family. A new beginning was in sight, a chance for a life filled with understanding, forgiveness and love.